go over here and we'll say sword doop 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 and all right woohoo friends we are protected Ooh, that was cool let's do that again yeah <laughs> i bet you this thing is done now there we go we got room for one block let's do it here comes our block oh yeah i'm so excited Da -da. That was nice. Some dance moves, little jazz hands there. All right, now look at this. Is this cheating? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's in, it's ingenuity. That's what it is. All right. Woo! So excited. Oh, let's get something to cook. Let's get some bread. How the heck do I make bread? Smelting dough. How about what is this? Toaster. Ooh, toasters. Uh -huh. I thought. Oh, bet bet it's this. Let's see. And then we can take that and turn it into yeah, toast. And we got some dough. Oh, that is dough exciting. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop making puns. They suck. And I'm just gonna put my bowl. I think can I put it right there? Nope. Uh, I'm just gonna put it up here. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, all right. And let's put our dough in here. Very, ex very excited. How many do we got there? Two. That. Oh, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's working. It's work. Okay, this is. Get out of here. It's working. I'm so it's oh and there's bread. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I wonder, does it will it stop at seven or does it just like keep going? I'm making toast. I'm making toast! Oh my god, it's at twenty percent. That's terrible. That is so bad. Oh yeah. Oh. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? It's twenty percent. This is a grain, right? 3.5%. 24%. Yes. Oh, it's magic toast. Magic toast. What can we make out of you, magic toast? Oh, look at that. McPam. Beet burger. Well, I'm very excited that we've got the furnace lit now. It's uh, That is just really, really exciting. I've been wanting to do that, I think, since the first episode. Maybe the second episode. I forgot. So that leaves us with uh, a world of things to try to accomplish now. We're going to need to get a cauldron. And I don't know, do we have enough iron left over from that little... Oh, wait, yes we do. Not the Minecraft cauldron. This cauldron. We're going to need seven of those guys. Oh, we can do it with copper? How exciting. A water bucket and a bone. And I think I have all of those things and let's figure out where we're gonna put this dude I guess I could stick him right here uh, you know what? I think that is just burning the coal I think it is I'm gonna take that out of there really <laughs> uh -huh. oh there we go okay I was holding down shift that wasn't working oh look at all that cooked mutton <laughs> it's just like worthless. That's so funny. Oh, tasty sandwich. Hey, look at that. I think that's even slightly better than toast, right? Let's see. Not quite two haunches. Bit and a half of saturation. Two haunches. Not as much saturation. Okay. What's this one? <laughs> Laughable. We're going to put it out one. Put our block of charcoal in there. Get that dirt. Light it. Oh, yeah. Put that dirt there and put my cauldron like that. Awesome. Possum. Look at this. It's spooky. So spooky. All right. Exciting, exciting, exciting stuff. We need to get some bark to throw in there. And we need to, and then we can tan our piece of leather. Which is very exciting. Let's get let's put some of this garbage away. Too much garbo in the box here. Too much garbo in the in the in the yokel box. I think our termite mound might be done. That's exciting to me. 
If anybody knows what on earth that termite mound is good for, assuming it's something other than termites, I would love to hear about it. All right, so I'm going to make a couple of flint hatchets, I think. I think that's the way to go. You can't use the mattock to gather bark off of trees. And um, it'll burn through your tool pretty fast, so I might as well make some cheap ones here. Let's just go make another one. I'm going to go over here because this does kind of make the trees look ugly. So I'm just going to go over here and do this where we don't have to look at it. Oh, yeah. The different barks have uh, different uh, burn times. Like, see, it takes two birch bark or tanned leather. With oak, it's something like five or something like that. I guess, well, maybe it's, is that because it's more common? So it just, it ups the difficulty a little bit? Or is there, I mean, is this, is this based on real world, uh, you know, bark? Is this, uh, does, does birch have more tannins in it than oak does? I'm curious to know. Curious to know, do you know? Do you, know? you don't look like you know much. Yeah. This will uh, this will be good. So, so uh, leather needs two of these. So oh yeah, this will this will do us fine for a while at least. Time has passed. I went out there and I collected the bark, and while I was in the forest, I looked over the field and I saw the village that we came across when we first logged in. And I thought to myself, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna do it. We've got iron now. We've, we've smelted it, we progressed to it. I feel pretty legit at this point. So I went over there, I thought, oh, I'm gonna make a big production of it. Yeah, actually, honestly, I, my first thought was, I will never go to the village, I'll just tease it, the entire series. But I thought, no, there's probably stuff over there that I want. So I went over there, and I was expecting to make a big production of it, I was gonna have funny interactions with the villagers, and collect all the fat loot. And honestly, it turned out to be kind of boring. Uh, the village really wasn't that spectacular. Um, there was a blacksmith, so I did get some obsidian. I think there was, um, that's wood, five blocks of obsidian, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, mostly what I got, which is actually pretty exciting, is I mostly got wheat. I got lots and lots of wheat and a few other veggies. I got some carrots and potatoes and that sort of thing. So it's kind of a letdown. I think the next village I come across, I will raid it on camera so that you guys can have the pleasure of seeing me look through the chests and raiding the farms. But we're not going to worry about that one over there. It was kind of a dud. Uh, I came back with my bark and my fat loots and there we go, tanned some leather. What you do is you take your scoured leather and you throw it in there with your bark and whenever there are ingredients that can be used together in a cauldron, it will just start cooking. Uh, obviously, I, I stole some furnaces. <laughs> they had a lot. They didn't need them, so I took them. And this one's just for show now. Yeah, it kind of looks, like looks like a helmet or like a robot or something. Maybe we'll find something funny to do with that. But it's not going to get used, I can tell you that. You know, you can make the regular leather armor or you can make the studded leather armor and... Um, the studded leather armor is just a little bit better. So like uh, regular leather helm is plus one. This one's plus two. So overall we'd get plus four to our armor rating if we were to make this as opposed to the regular leather. I think five. Let's see here. Leather. Yeah. So, oh, that's three versus five. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus two, seven... Ooh, yeah, okay, well that might actually be worth making then, because that is more than I thought. But here's how we make it. We'll need leather and then iron nuggets. And as you can see, we'll need a lot of them. Uh, we'll need leather to make these leather belts for our machines. We'll need leather to make a backpack. Uh, need, going to need a lot of leather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down there, I'm going to work on breeding up some of the cows. 
Uh, I put a trough down there for them earlier and put some weed in it. Ooh, looks like they've eaten it already. All right, so I'll go fill that back up. This apiary over here seems to be doing a great job on the hemp, and I'm not really sure if it's having an impact on the wheat, though. I did grow this piece of grass, though. Here, I'm going to break it. We'll see what it grows next. All right, let's go feed some cows. Hi. Whoa, man, you guys got to stop doing that. Sheep, you don't need to be in here. Come on over, girls. Come and get it. I'm going to go down there where we saw those Friesian cows, and I'm going to grab them and bring them back here. They're good for milk. Well, now, this is interesting. Uh, my water is starting to freeze right here. I guess that means winter's coming. I got a bug out there. I'm a little concerned about that. You guys ready for winter? Because it's coming. Wait. There we go. Man, holy moly. Holy moly. I got lots of leads now. That's good. It's taken me three days in game to do this. I spent almost an entire day trying to figure out why the boats that I had linked up yesterday, the last time I played, that's what that mess is over there. Half of them were together, half of them weren't, but apparently they all are all together. And watch, I think I can hit one here. I even, uh, yeah, something here. Oh man, why is this all freezing up? We are not ready for winter. We are not ready for winter. Well, actually, since I raided all of the wheat from that village, it's, it's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. So it just means I need to get these cows before my river freezes up. I wonder if the whole thing will freeze. Be kind of interesting. Yeah, I noticed... Well, wait a minute. They changed colors again. Those were red earlier. Man, I'm confused. There's a season clock. I should probably make one of those. That'll probably help me figure out what the heck's going on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, Mr. Cow. Mr. Bull. Whoa, yeah. I got you. I got your wheat. I got your wheat. It's so sweet. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. What are you doing? You're not getting in the boat. I'm not getting in the boat. Why are you not getting in the boat? Okay, we're gonna have to do something like this. Okay, man, Almighty, Mister Mister Moo Moo, you are just too much. It didn't work. It didn't work. All right, come on. How about this one? Can you get in this one here? Will you get in the water? Oh man, you are just you are driving me bananas. I'm over here. I got some wheat. I got some wheat. It's like as soon as I got in the water, he stopped caring that I had wheat. Come on. Come with me. Care. You're going to care. You're going to care. See? Now you care. Come on here. Let's care out here. Care in the boat. Care your... Get carried away. Aw, oh, come on, man. You're killing me here. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Why enough for you get in the boat? Uh, mm hmm well, I think I'm going to have to take these guys overland. He just doesn't seem to want to get in the boat, and I am just like for a, at a loss as to what to do about it. All right, let's see. I'm going to... Maybe your lady friend. Maybe you have a lady friend up here? I'd be surprised, a guy like you. A guy like you with a lady friend? I doubt it. Stubborn jerk. Oh, Mrs. Cow Cow. Hey, do you like, do you like wheat? Do you like boats? Man, have I got a deal for you. Oh, God, the sun's going down. All right. You got one shot at this. One shot at this, and then I'm... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to flee. I'm just getting out of here. This is getting old. This is super-duper old. All right, I'm not going to... I'm, gonna, I'm not going to worry about putting them in the daggone boats. I'm just going to... I'm going to go sleep, and then I'll come right back over here, and then I'll just... Take them across the, the land. We can follow the shore all the way back to the base. Oh, man. No es bueno. Oh, 
All right. Who wants to see the village? They have beds. And they're close by. Oh! See that? That went way down in there. We're gonna make it! We're gonna make it! I hope! We get there just in time to get eaten by a, a zombie. Oh, watch out. Come on. Let's go. I know there's one over here. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, all right, all right. What? Oh, you guys. What the heck, man? You're killing me. What were you even stuck on? I'm on a timetable here. You too, big head. All right, this is going to this is going to be a grand journey. Let's go on it together. Uh maybe I'll just skip ahead. All right, so there's an eclipse taking place right now, of course, just as I get to the deep, dark forest. So, I mean, there's going to be a monster to come out, right? There's just like, there's no way. that this isn't an opportunity. Yeah, see, there we go, right there. Oh, and it's just like the worst thing too ever. Oh, God. Baby zombies. <laughs> he toddles. He's cute. Yep, I'm going to kill you. Come on. Oh, man. If you make me kill my cows, I'm going to be so, so very angry with you. Yeah. Come on. Yep. All right. Come on, cows. Get out of the way. Drowned. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, at least I could hear him coming. That was that was something, huh? Oh, and there, our eclipse is starting to pass. It's brightening up a little bit. Woo! I guess what is that? That's that's a sheep. Okay. Well, assuming that these guys don't get trapped in a block of ice, I'm gonna make it moving them around a little bit easier, I guess. All right. Anybody else out there want a piece of meat? Yeah. Yeah. Knew it. I knew it. Oh, don't hit the cow! No! God! This is just mm, not not cool, man. Totally not cool. All right, will the bull de-aggro me, or will he just try to kill me all the way home? I have a feeling I'm going to find out. More creepers. Great. This, guys, has not been my favorite task, I have to say. All right, we good? We good? Hello, peacock. Would you like to come with us? You're gonna. All right, the bull seems to be okay with me. I'm, I'm happy about that. I think I might just go ahead and stay out in front of him here, though, just in case. There it is, guys. Shangri-La. Casa del Yokel. That bothers me. I want that bug to go away. It bothers me because little things like that always make me afraid that it's going to turn into something bigger. Like, maybe it's not a huge problem, but maybe it's pointing towards one that's going to happen. Alright, look at that! More cows, more cows, more cows, and peak. Yeah! Oh, that's... You're gonna have to listen to him out here by our base all the time, aren't we? Yep, he says. Oh, look at that! Dead beats! I dropped my beats, man. Drop my beats. What was this? Hopefully not important. Yeah, see, Pam's persist. Pam's crops persist. You know, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth right now. I think at the very beginning of this series, I said that the seasons affected the industrial craft. No, the immersive engineering crops. That is obviously not the case. It only appears to affect the vanilla crops. So... Ingots. And, oh, I had enough for a bucket. Oh, that's great. I've got. I still have enough for a bucket. They're happy while I know it. That looks like regular milk. Oh, but it restores thirst. All right. Okay, I'm guessing. It must not be. 
Yeah, they must not be happy. They're just not weak. Come on, guys, go eat up. There's like food and stuff. There's no need to be weak. Don't be weak, cows. Weak. Weak cows. Can I make this into something? Make it into fresh milk. It's my bucket back. Frisian! Oh, yeah! There we go. Oops. Can we not turn it into cheese? Frisian. Yeah. Frisian, Frisian cheese. Okay. Cheese. All right. Well, I'm going to make a cheese mold here. Uh, even though it seems to be kind of confusing me as to whether or not I can actually use any plank wood. It was, it was is iron, right? Yeah, okay. Does it have to be down here? Yes, it does. Okay, that's weird. And there's cheese. Awesome. Ooh, yeah. That's 4% dairy. Oh, yeah. Now, we, we can use this with a carving knife. Um, I need to figure out how to turn that big icon off. I need to figure that out. Let's see. How do we do this? There we go. All right. Now we can take this and we can cut it into fours. Still has... Oh, I thought I had a bit more saturation than that. It's snowing. Oh, my goodness. It is snowing. Well, winter is here, friends. Winter has arrived. Oh, it's so much. Cheese on toast. Oh, it's getting to be night. Let's go to bed. Wow, my goodness. Snow. Yeah, I had one of those moments where I was just like, am I recording? I am. Like, I did an awful lot here to not be recording. Well, look at that. It's a winter wonderish land. How fancy. Oh, I love our vantage point even more now. <laughs> Isn't that great? Are you guys okay down there? You staying warm? No. We'll have to figure out how we can get a uh, egg from that peacock down there. I think there's a nest we can build for him. Let's look at that. We got a few seconds here while that those bricks finish up. Nest. Not that one. Nest. There we go. Two hay bales. You know, I happen to know that there are some hay bales in that village over there. In fact, I think there might be precisely two, or three. There might be precisely three. There's precisely as many as there are, and there's definitely enough for us to make a nest with. All right, now, make our baking dish, our bakeware, put our cheese in there, our toast in there, and oh, Bubba, look at that. We got us. We got us a meal. All right, let's see. 16, 59. 20, 62, woohoo! Oh, that's very exciting. Very, very exciting, friends. You know, I think this might have been the most boring episode that I've made today, and that might be saying something, but I'm going to end it here because this has taken entirely too long to get those stupid cows over here, and I have things i got to go do. So I appreciate you guys coming. I Stick with me. It's going to be awesome. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> I can make all the promises I want to. I need to put up or shut up, right? Yeah, all right. Well, here we go. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.